Guys, and this is SoulGamer78 finally returning for today's Thursday's rant. As I promised, I would be doing a rant on Thursday. And last time it was about Pokemon, the time before that it was about PM rant. This time, um, if you haven't heard, the uh, PS4 was announced yesterday. And if you're in the future watching this right now, then the PS4 came out in February 20th. So, I will enlist my full opinion about it, and I'll show you a slight look at the controller. They haven't released how the console looks yet, they haven't told us the price, and they haven't... All they tell us about the release date was the holiday seasons, which is sometime around fall, because that's when the holiday season is. So, like I said, I'm just going to tell you my opinions about this, and whether I like it or not. And just, th these are all theories and speculations with some bit of evidence. I don't own it, I haven't seen it, I haven't even touched one. All I know is how it looks like and something about the horror speculation. So, number one is hardware. Alright, I, I didn't watch the whole entire video, the, P the PS4 video, so I don't know everything about the hard drive. Or the hardware, but I do know it's a 8 gigabyte gigahertz thing. So meaning it can do things really really fast and there's an instant on which allow you to turn on your PS4 automatically inside game and allow you to put, I, I think it's put your PS4 in sleep mode automatically and yeah. Also, I'm not, well, Sony didn't announce if the new PlayStation 4 it's capable for a 4K um, resolution, that means Ultra HD, the HD above the HD. I'm not sure about that. Um, I won't be surprised if they did because Sony usually really have good graphics, except for the PS2. And if they did, I won't be really that surprised either because they, they need to conserve money. So I won't be surprised either way. However, I will be sure that I'm pretty sure the PlayStation 4 is capable of producing native 1080p video or playback, anything you want to put to that. That's all I heard about the hard drive. Next up is the controller. Why am I sounding like a newsman? The controller, as I've seen, it's about the same as the PS3 controller, except now just a share button. An option button and not a touchpad. Not a touchscreen. It's not a screen. It's a pad. It's a pad. Seriously, it's driving me berserk. Everyone's it's like with the PS Vita. Everyone say it has two touchscreens. It only has one touchscreen and a freaking rare touch panel. Not a touchscreen. It's not a screen. It's like this thing with the same thing. It's a touchpad. It's not a screen. So it doesn't count as a touch green. As I said, the P... Okay, I haven't really said this before. The PS3 controller is the... It's the least favorite of the 3.7 gen. Even though I consider the PS3 the best um, gaming console of the 7th generation. That means it's better than... I think it's better than Xbox 360 and the Wii. However, I think it is, my opinion, the least comfortable. And the worst design wise, not the worst, worst wise, just the worst design wise. So I probably think this is the worst design wise of the 8th generation. Also, um, they have changed some things as they have now put on the share button. The bottom is now a little rounder and there's like this hook on the analog um, back things. So you can look forward to that. Yeah. All in all, I'm not really that interested as I already seen the Wii U controller. And I don't think I'll like the controller that much. I will like the system probably, but just not the controller as like I said, the PS3 controller was my least favorite of the three controllers in the seven generations. So that's my that's my opinion about the controller. If you think differently, fine, what the heck? Why not? I don't really care. An interesting thing I saw from the video was the PlayStation Eye. It's like this camera thing 
and there's like stairs and then you can share things with your friends and stuff. Um, it's cool. I'll admit it, it's cool. I'm okay with it. I mean, granted, I don't think it's the best thing the PlayStation 4 is gonna give us. But, hey, it's cool. Although it would mean you need a lot of space. So that could be a problem. However, it's cool. That's it. Um, next thing. When they mentioned the PlayStation Move, I was like, Oh no, what are you gonna mention now? Because, as you know, I have still not- Okay, you probably still don't know this. I have not found a PlayStation Move game that was actually fun. As of all say, I got bored of them in two hours. So when they mentioned the PlayStation Move, I was like, What are you gonna give us now? However, I thought the same thing. So, there really wasn't a point. Um, the new things for the PlayStation Move, the ability to move it to create sculptures in that game, I forgot. It's cool and all, and the ability to dance to show the new features. It's cool and all, but, well, I don't really care. I never care for the PlayStation Move. I will probably never do care for the PlayStation Move. I think it's just an add-on to the PlayStation Move to try to rip off the success of the Wii. So, yeah, and even now I still think that. And even now, I still really don't give two bits about it. If that ever actually makes sense. So, that's my um, thoughts on the PlayStation Move. The PS Vita, well, I actually really like it. Uh, I have to give them applause. Um, they found a way to cross-play the PS Vita with the PlayStation 4, so it's really interesting, I want to see what can come out of it, and yeah, that's it. One of the things that I was most disappointed about in the conference, or conference, was the fact that a PS4 cannot play PS3 games, and the fact that... Well, when you transfer your data, PS4, to the PS4, you're not gonna get anything. You have to go to the PSN to get all the stuff. All the software, like all the games you downloaded on the PS3 won't transfer to the PS4. And adding that with the fact that a PS4 can't not play PS3 games, meaning it's not backwards compatible, that drives me insane. By far the worst thing I heard from the conference. Man, seriously. That's all I have to say about it. I just don't like it. I hate it. And I wish there was backwards compatibility. That's it. I don't have anything else to say about it. Seriously. Sony, you disappoint me. Then again, they never been backwards compatible. So, I'm not sure why I'm this angry. I should have expected... More. I shouldn't have expected that much. Oh well. Alright, last but not least, the games. Um, I'm okay with it. There was only like, three games that actually impressed me. The first game, which was Knack, whatever you pronounce it, there was like this particle game, but then if I really want to play this particle game, like this physic game, I would just play Powder Toy. Honestly, I would just rather play Powder Toy, so... Although it was cool, it was a nice idea. I'm not that excited for it. Now, what I am excited for is Killzone. Like, remember how the building blows up and then physics just take the particles everywhere? That I'm actually excited for. Um, to give a quick run to, Capcom made a new game, Deep Down. Which is, like, the sequel to Dragon's... Doma, but I'm not sure if it's really a sequel. I heard that's taking place in the same world, so it might be. And that's nice. That's it. That's all I can say. Square Enix is now. Eh, whatever. Square Enix. Great, great. They're releasing a new Final Fantasy game. Eh. Over the years, I'm not. I just not. I'm just really not that big of a Square Enix fan anymore. Diablo 3, yay! Blizzard is showing Diablo 3 on 
to PS4. Then that came out like five, two, two, like one or two years ago. Overall, I'm not that um, surprised or that impressed with the games yet. The only being uh, Killzone and just oh yeah, Destiny, Destiny, Bungie, the creator, the creators of Halo. I'm excited for that. That it just has the mystic feel for it. I'm excited for Destiny. Killzone and Destiny are the only two games I'm actually interested in. The rest just are like, eh. I'm not that impressed with them. So you can like them if you want. I mean, these are just my opinions. But because this was the last one, this is the last day I'm going to make. I just want to end this video here. And thanks for watching. State your opinions down in the comment box below if you want. If you don't want, then don't do it. I'm not forcing you, but whatever. And that's my rant on the PlayStation 4. I like the hardware. I think it's awesome. Just... There's six months left. They can improve the game and improve the hardware if they want. So, that's what I think. Sony should improve their hardware. Overall, I like it. Just, I don't like the game so much yet. And that's what makes a console for me. Um, yeah. And this is Soul Gamer 78 signing off. Um, seriously, well, I don't know. I need a better outro.